is how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? All right, that's, sounds good to me. Super should have hit. A super again should have hit. Jumping jab. Jasper, come on! Jasper Kitty, stop it! Why are you blocking the TV again? I give up. I can't play the jungle front again. Jasper, come on! Get out! That's twice in the first match. No, twice in the first match. 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 Twice in Wrong button. Yeah, I don't I don't know the matchup. Nice flip. Yep. I don't know I don't know the matchup at all with Dalcium actually, but Dalcium uh, Dalcium Vega. I've almost I barely ever played that. I'm such a goddamn scrub. I suck. I'm a scrub. Why did I take a hit there? Blocking low. Yeah, I don't know. He got, he got free hit after free hit. He literally got free hit after free hit when I'm blocking. Of course, here's Goji Tanks already stalking me tonight to, to waste our fucking time. Yeah, fucking loser. Got him again. Completely outplayed two fucking games in a row. I had enough of Goji Tanks and this laggy fucking bullshit, if you haven't noticed. Every week, week in, week out, I had enough of this asshole. <laughs> had enough. Enough of your shit. Wow. Dude, I seriously don't want to play Goji Tanks anymore. I'm done with this lobby. I've dominated him so much, I just don't want to bother anymore. <laughs> I was fucking bored playing those guys. Let's play a different lobby. And there's no way to beat him because he's hands down the best character in the game. When they made this game, they didn't balance it. Guile is just dominant against everyone. I didn't jump forward. I neutral like this. That was sure you again. Didn't come out. I didn't jump and jab. Oh my god. What the fuck? Oh, you're gonna get salt, 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 salt. It's, oh, even now, I'm getting my mouth overpowered with salt flavor. I didn't do that either! The game is literally giving me such drop and delayed inputs. I'm getting moves from uh, two inputs ago. I was waking up, I did wake up, and I did fireball. The game gave me sure you can, meaning it thought I was walking forward first and then did a fireball input. That's insanely bad. You guys, we're at $19 in tips, and we are almost a full hour into the stream. It'll be great. If you guys like the weekly Street Fighter stuff, you can support it. One of the people who's here every week usually is not here this week. Jack's Fraction, okay? So it'll be great if some people could contribute and say, hey, I like your Street Fighter stuff and I would like to keep doing it. Please, if you can, please support the stream. Some money. Some monies. Oh, yes, the monies. <laughs> Gorilla Pimp tipped me a dollar. You know I'm your number one fan. I want to email how much tips you tip to play a specific game. I knew since Twitch, I love how much you're my favorite streamer. That's all I want to know. There's, I don't accept a bunch of tips to play a game that doesn't work. It's not how it works. Every once in a while, I'll do a special event where the fans can nominate and vote on a game. Like a viewer's choice event? That, no, no, a single person cannot send me tips and then get me to play a game. That's not how it works. <clears throat> I'm not here to just entertain one person on the screen. Gorilla Pimp tipped the dollar and he said, if I give you $200, would that do it? Gorilla Pimp, I literally just said to you on this stream, no, I do not accept tips to play games in, in conjunction for tips. That's not how it works. I have an audience to entertain. I don't entertain individuals on an on-demand basis, so the answer is no. Now Gorilla Pimp tipped the dollar fifty and said, can I tip you behind the scenes? I want to see you play games. I'll pay for it and everything, bro. You are the best. Once again, I'll say it again. I do not accept tips in conjunction for playing certain games. I never have and never will. It's not going to happen. No, I'm entertaining a variety audience, not just you. I'm sorry that I have to repeat myself a third time. Gorilla Pimp now tipped the dollar fifty and said, I wanted to play the suffering game that would be so happy. Let's negotiate. I got to. Gorilla Pimp, seriously now. How many times do I have to repeat myself? Do you think that like the, 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 the message will magically change its answer? Like... What the fuck? It's sure you can the jack. Look, I can't do anything. I can't. I can't. It won't let me reverse the sure you can because of the lag. So he just walks forward and mashes. He gets away with throw, throw, throw. There's nothing I can do about it. Oh my oh! god. <laughs> 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 oh god. Gorilla 
little pimp? I'm, no, you can keep tipping me all night if you want, but it's still not going to make me fake the suffering. I'm not playing the suffering. You realize the suffering was in the running for the Halloween event, right? Like, it is being voted. It's one of the games that can be voted on right now. Oh my god, he's drinking gin. Yes. Mm. Mm. What is the suffering? Apparently, it's like a, a uh, older school uh, horror game from like... I think it was like late PS2 era. So there you go, now Gorilla Pimp tipped another golf. He says, fuck the viewers, I'm an OG. Oh look, Jose's back. Jose wasn't around for a while. Jose wasn't even there last week. Now he's come to ruin our, our week here. How nice of him. Can't block again, it won't block. Why? Yeah, he's getting free hits. I can't do anything about it. It won't block for me. What the fuck? I can't do anything. I can't do anything. It's hilarious because I'm, I'm completely outplaying the guy. Ridiculously outplaying the guy. And he's just mashing random shit and gets away with it because the online play sucks. I can't counter any of it. So he gets away with all this bullshit he's not earning. My mouth is full of salt. Only fear of death says any advice on how to overcome choking and depression when playing in tournaments. Whenever I play in a tournament, I would never care about who I was playing. Like the thing is so many people get intimidated in tournaments. They're like, oh, I'm playing someone who's known, a known tournament player, someone that's screen. I'm like, if you know your game, you know the strategy you want to use with your character, right? Just play your strategy. I, I don't see it as I'm fight, facing a person. I'm facing what's on the screen. That's all I see. I don't care about who that other opponent is on the other side of the controller. I just don't. So it wouldn't matter if I was fighting some Joe Nobody I never heard of, if I was fighting like a, a local player who was known, if I was playing like a high-level tournament player like a Justin Wong. I just didn't give a shit. I would just play my game no matter what. I wouldn't let any name intimidate me. Fuck you. You're a liar. <laughs> Oh, good move! I tried to grab him, but he had the timing down. You fuck it up! Nice. Oh no! <laughs> I was right there at the exact range for 360. Phil Smokes Crack is here tonight to $4.20. Says the bank called me this morning wondering what Brunel Enterprises is. They thought it was suspicious activity. Is that actually what it shows up as? I'm just curious. Obviously, I've never tipped myself on a stream. Does it show up as Brunel Enterprises? Um when you tip me like on your bank statement and stuff that's funny but yeah that's the thing like absolutely if you have a bank that monitors activity on your account and if you all of a sudden do like like big tips and stuff to any streamer they'll they'll call you and they'll be like hey just be sure this is real because we saw there's tons of paypal activity you know on your account out of nowhere uh thank you so much phil smokes crack for last night i mean that was tremendous between you and uh and the other person going back and forth with that tip war it helps tremendously really well thank you uh, obviously i wasn't expecting that i'm sorry you didn't win the tip war but man it was a close back and forth holy shit Oh my god, he's drinking gin. So Phil Smokes cracked up another $4.20 and reveals that's why he lost the tip war last night. Because his bank froze his account and wouldn't send any more tips. So he wanted to keep going to win the tip war last night during the Lost Judgment stream. He couldn't because his bank stopped him. Wow. That sucks, especially if like you're, you're really significantly working hard to, to win something like that. And you significantly contributed. Obviously, you did. And by the way, again, it helps a ton. Thank you so much, Phil Smokes Crack. Like, don't feel like, oh, I lost the war. It's not a big deal. No, it helps me a lot. It really does. So thank you for that. But that sucks that you wanted the win. You couldn't. That really sucks. By the way, I like no water. I need to go get some more. You know what? Let's do that. Let's take a very brief break because I just stopped recording for YouTube. I'm out of water here. Let me head downstairs quick. I'll get more water. We'll continue. Guys, we're at $35 of tips. Remember, at 50 gunner glasses and 100 a hat. Any hat tonight. My bison hat would be great. Uh, please support the stream if you can tonight. Uh, as you know, some of the regulars that support, like Jack Trash, are not here this week. Couldn't be here. So it would be great if other people could, could support the stream if you like Street Fighter. Okay, I'll be right back. Just going to refill my water. Tipping me right now would help me a lot this next week. I, I swear some of you, like, are, are like, I, you have no concept of how life works. So yesterday on pre-stream, I revealed that something annoying happened the night before. My shower broke, okay? Now I was talking on stream about, man, this sucks. It happened at, like, 1 in the morning. I try to figure out how to get the water off broken or whatever and i'm gonna have to eventually get a plumber in here but it's probably gonna be expensive it looks like there's damage to the pipe in the wall and all this and blah 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 so i told this story on pre-stream i'm not kidding all day yesterday and all day today people were like did he did he pay for the plumber did a plumber come did he get a plumber did he you know he, the money he made the money paid for the plumber right like like how how dumb can you be that's not how it fucking works seriously that's not how it works here's how it would work i would have to call a plumber i would have to explain to them the situation 
they would have to fit it into their schedule to figure out when they can come out here. Likely with a plumber, it's usually two, three days earliest, unless it's a giant water leak like emergency I don't have. So they'd probably be taking forever to get out here, like probably upwards of a week. Then I would have to schedule it for a day when I can, I'm available, which I'm not. I'm working every day. And my one day off, I got shit to do, you know? So we're, t we're potentially talking a, a, a pain in the ass to get the guy to come out here. Then when he's out here, okay, the plumber would do is look at the situation, try to figure out what's wrong, okay? Once they figure out kind of what's wrong, they would then give me what's called a scope of work and a quote. What that means is that the, the, the plumber would say, okay, here's what I gotta do to fix the problem, I think. Something else could go wrong when I'm doing it, but this is what I think I need to do in order to fix your problem. And they would give me an actual quote on paper. I would have to accept the quote, and then they would begin to do the work, but then, once the work is getting done and is done, it may change, it may be more expensive. So the hilarious thing about this, people think that like, oh, you have a leak, so immediately, ever, you just immediately know exactly how much it's gonna cost to get something fixed, and immediately you can pay it and you're done, right? On what fucking planet do you, do you live on? Have you never actually had anything done in your house before? And the answer is probably no, these people probably, have never done anything like this. A bunch of kids. A bunch of fucking kids on the internet saying dumb shit. They never actually had a responsibility of a bill like that where they have to have someone come out and try to figure out what's wrong with their shit. So it's hilarious when they say stuff like this. So I'll probably, for, I'm not even kidding you. Probably like for the next two, three weeks, every day, oh, did the plumber come out there? What was the cost of the plumber? Did the plumber get fixed? What was the plumber? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> it's not how it even fucking works. Have you never had anything done with plumbing in your house before? I guess or not. If this is how you think it works, it's not how it fucking works. All I can taste is the saltiness. That's right, Chicken Man did a $2 super chase, you know life logic doesn't work. You're right, because the people I'm talking to who say dumb shit like that, they don't have a fucking life. You know what I mean? Like, oh, what if the plumber's done, right? Like, what the fuck, man? No, you're like a, a kid who doesn't even understand what the fuck you're talking about. Oh, what? You see how laggy? It's so laggy I can't walk up and do a kick. I try to do it in a mash punch, and the plunge beats my kick because my kick never came out. Oh my god, he's drinking salt. Go. Oh, I'm gonna concentrate on the fight now. Oh shit! Wait up fucking sure you can do the same damage. Super oh my god, no super. Completely robbed. I had the match one. Move. I did the combo to win. My move dropped in the middle of the combo because the online play fucking lags and sucks. Complaining and making excuses like a whining, crying, tear eye baby. And then he does random damage sure you can hail Mary to win. If I blocked it, I would have won easily. I can't even do my moves with skipping frames like crazy. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's dropping tons of. What the? I did double sure you can. They gave me that. What? Why'd I get hit? I don't even know. I didn't do- what the fuck? <laughs> Why would I do fireball? He's jumping at me. Why would I do EX fireball? This is impossible to play tonight. It really is. Of course. Amazing gameplay. No super! Wow! No EX fireball. <laughs> what? I neutral jump to press the button. I don't get an attack. He jumps and randomly mashes Hurricane and it juggles and kills me. This is un unbelievably bad gameplay. It's unbelievably laggy bad gameplay. And then thank you to Phil's Soggy Bottom. Uh. Oh, I grabbed my ass? Yeah, I grabbed my ass because my pajama pants were stuck to my ass. Who took me a dollar fifty said, I'm skimming through YouTube. Of course, I see detractor videos. They all have no lives. They make 2,000 views on a video on you. And they make a non-DSP video that only gets five views. <laughs> and, you know, it hurts. It hurts me in more than one way. It does. That hurts. Not gonna lie, that fucking hurts. I mean, yeah. That's what I, well, th this is the problem. I, I hate to say it, this is a major problem with YouTube. Getting actual legitimate positive content to get noticed is impossible. The only stuff that get noticed that's get noticed on YouTube is incredibly immature insulting, dramatic kind of content. Stuff that has no quality to it at all, and in a lot of cases is very hurtful. That's what gets noticed on YouTube, and YouTube does absolutely nothing to fix their site to make sure that that shit doesn't trend. That's like saying it's okay for anything anything toxic to trend. It's like, do you really want that to be your whole business? And they do, apparently, because they've done nothing over the years to fix it. They just continuously let the worst kind of content trend top above legitimate people, you know? It only favors the toxic. 
it only favors nasty shit. So when you say, oh, these people who talk about me, they make a video that gets a few thousand views, and then when they try to do something otherwise, they get no attention, that's why. They they have figured out that all they can do to get attention is be nasty and be disgusting and be negative. That's it. They can't actually get noticed for anything else. So they continue to be nasty, you know? Whatever works for them to get popular because they don't care about who they hurt to try to get attention, you know? Um, I have been doing YouTube for over 13 years, and I can make a living doing fun content here, um, which is great. I'm very happy that I can do positive content and not have to do the toxic shit like these losers. Um, and I'm happy to be able to do that, okay? So, that's why when you come to my content, it's none of that crap. I just put my glasses on completely upside down. Ha 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 ha! There you go. Yeah, see you in Uzi Gohart, that's the funny part, he says. He did a super chase, the only reason you still have trolls, they've gotten so attached to seeing you fail, they won't give up to see you banned or gone. And I'm not getting banned or going anywhere. <laughs> you know? So look, here's a funny part about stuff. They actually keep saying I got banned from Twitch. I'm like, when? When did I get banned from Twitch? I left. I chose to leave Twitch. I actually was sticking around Twitch a little bit longer than I needed to, and then I got the fuck out of there. But they actually, they changed the narrative as much as they possibly can to make it try to fit what they want to say about me. No, I was never banned from Twitch. I can go to Twitch right now and stream if I want. Why the fuck would I want to? I'd be an asshole. I'd be a complete moron to stream over there. It's a terrible fucking place to stream. It's just gotten worse and worse since I left, right? I had to lie about things because I had to protect my family, right? Hey, stay positive. Stop fucking spamming the tip command if you're not going to tip. It's not for you to spam to get others to tip or ask for others to tip. It's for you to use to tip yourself. So if I see it again, I'm banning you. Because you're abusing it, you're making other people look, or, or not look, but feel bad because you're like, Ugh, tit, tit, tit. You're obnoxious. It's my job to ask for that, not you. So shut up. Banned, 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 banned. Gone. Forever. That actually traded? Wow. What the fuck? Why didn't I move up? Seriously? In the middle of my combo hit string. He literally says, mash, 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 and he wins the fight because of lag. Oh, we're at $55 of tips, guys. We're still playing for about another 20, 30 minutes. Again, it would be great. We can get some more uh, support in here of any kind is appreciated. Tips are preferred. At $100, you guys get to pick a hat for me to wear. Well, Phil, obviously, he's a binge drinker, and he drinks every night. He drinks himself into a drunken stupor. I couldn't wall jump. I tried. It's just, it's laggy as fuck. That was super. What? I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. My moves are not coming out. Whoa, did you see that tip? Did you guys see this tip that just came in? Apparently, I just received a $45 tip by someone named Tuco Ramirez. $45, and that's going to jump us all the way up to the $100. Oh, uh, I just received a $1.50 tip from Farmer, who says, Glad to see this is going to be another chill night of Penne, Jin, and Twitter after a little bit of WWE Champions. Dude, stop fucking dropping my input now. I'm getting frustrated as fuck. That was a good move. Oh, that was another good move. At least that one was legit. That was a legit loss. That was sure you can. <laughs> that I can do. Alright. That is it, guys, for our weekly... Uh, throwback Street Fighter session. I hope that you guys had a good time today. <clears throat> Excuse me. I did. I had a good time today. And, uh, I definitely enjoyed myself chilling with you guys, playing old school Street Fighter. I'm glad that you guys, uh, hung out with me tonight. Thanks to those who did. Thanks to those, obviously, who contributed as well and supported tonight's stream. Oh! Not enough money. Un unbelievable. Not enough money. That really blows. <laughs> Not enough money. Not enough ah, money. that hurts. Not gonna lie, that fucking hurts. There's still this back here, and it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind, and it's always telling me it's WWE Champions time. I love it. I love it.
is, is a mobile game addict. Phyllis indoctrinated children who send him money. Blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone. Just gone like that. In an instant. Fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. I eBay. Contributions are mandatory. But I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. It's the guy who just doesn't get reality. <laughs>